Welcome to the Know Your Dane podcast, unlocking the secrets to the Danish mentality. The purpose of this podcast is to give you, the listener, the opportunity to learn more about the Danish mentality, culture and history. This episode topics are Medieval period and the Reformation, 1200 to 1600. Early attempts at creating a Danish identity. One of the first discourses describing the Danes and their common history was Gesta Danorum, Story of the Danes. Written in 1220 by the monk Saxo Grammaticus. This text was commissioned by the Danish king Valdemar and should be seen as a propaganda script that would justify Valdemar's family's right to the Danish throne. It is also in this text that the terms Danish and Vikings were first linked to Danish history. This was the first major attempt at creating a national common Danish identity that connected the four largest parts of Denmark, Jutland, Zealand, Scania, now part of Sweden, and Funen. Aside from focusing on Valdemar's house as the rightful owners of the Danish throne, the publication was also a manifesto geared towards the German-speaking states and the German emperor, who also had an interest in Danish geography. However, the text emphasized the inhabitants of the Danish towns as their own people, with their own language, culture, and mentality. First female ruler. 150 years later, the first woman became the ruler of Denmark, when Margrethe I was crowned. She was later crowned in both Norway and Sweden, and brought the three Nordic countries together in the Kalmar Union which would later form the foundation of hundreds of years of controversy between Denmark and Sweden. The latter left the union which started to shape the conflict between the two countries. In 1520, the foundation for the poor relationship between Denmark and Sweden was further cemented when the Danish king, Christian II, executed a large number of Swedish nobility in Stockholm. This event would be used by Sweden in anti-Danish propaganda for the next hundred years. The Reformation. Internal disputes started a civil war in Denmark in 1534, and a few years later Martin Luther's showdown with the Catholic Church also came to Denmark. The king used the Reformation as a convenient excuse to acquire additional power and wealth at the expense of the Church. After the Reformation, a power shift took place, and the Danish king was to be regarded as the supreme authority in the Danish kingdom, which also included Norway and two German-speaking provinces. He was higher ranked than both former kings and the church authorities, and served as the leader of both church and country. Although the nobility remained, the king was appointed and sat on the council. Christian IV builds and burns. Afterward, a period of wars and controversies between Denmark and Sweden followed. In 1588, a change of the reigns took place in Denmark, when an 11-year-old Christian IV ascended to the throne. He would become the most famous Danish king despite countless military defeats. His answer to these military defeats, in comparison to Sweden's devastating strength, was to build impressive buildings in his empire to show the strength and presence of the Danish kingdom. He developed three of Copenhagen's major tourist attractions, the Round Tower, Rosenborg Castle and Bursen the stock exchange near Christiansborg Castle. He was also a controversial king who ordered the burning of hundreds of women suspected of being witches. Know Your Dane, Unlocking the Secrets to the Danish Mentality, is a comprehensive guide to Danish culture. The book covers key events in Danish history from the Middle Ages until today, including a deeper look at the eternal rivalry between Denmark and Sweden one of the most complex and dramatic relationships in history. Know Your Dane uncovers and analyzes the Danish national identity, including Danish cuisine, holiday traditions, and cultural phenomena, such as the law of Yanta, the concept of hygge, and how to navigate the Danes' carefully nuanced humor and social interaction. Learn more about the inner workings of the Danish welfare state, such as the 37-hour work week, gender equality, and the Danish educational system, and discover the most famous citizens of Denmark, from scientists and architects to authors, actors, and directors.
You have been listening to the Know Your Dane podcast, a Cope and Tell production. The podcast is written and produced by Danish historian Rune Edberg.